are redeemed from the powers of darkness. Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. As we consider our redemption blessings, uh, we must understand that our redemption or our deliverance or our freedom from the powers of darkness is real and it's complete. The Bible tells us here that He, that is the Lord God, has delivered us, completely set us free from the dominion or the power or the authority of darkness representing all of Satan and his demonic powers. And he has translated us into the kingdom of his own dear son. So think about this. God has taken us out of what once controlled us and dominated us, the powers of darkness, and he has put us into the kingdom of his dear son, which is a superior kingdom, a far greater king, kingdom, a more powerful kingdom, and we are in the kingdom of his dear son. And because of that, he affirms in verse 14, we have redemption through his blood. We are completely redeemed. Satan has no right over us. Now, this means that the enemy has no right to torment you, trouble you, afflict you, harass you. Now, of course, because we are in this world, he will come against us. He will attempt to put these things against us. He will attempt to tempt us, uh, put afflictions on us, uh, bring all kinds of torments and try to come against us with these things. But we must be established in this Bible truth that we have been delivered from the powers of darkness. And in Christ, we have redemption through his blood. The devil has no right to touch you. He has no claim over you and he has no access to you. That's over. Now, he may attempt to do that. That's why he's known as the trespasser. He's the old serpent who tries to deceive us, who tries to trespass, who tries to accuse, who tries to intimidate. He tries to come against us with these things. But we have to stand firm in our redemption, saying, Jesus Christ has redeemed me. And so, devil, you have no right to come and put these things on me. No right to torment me. No right to afflict me. I am redeemed. You stand on the ground of your redemption, which is a reality that God has made available to you in Jesus Christ. The powers of darkness have no right over you, no claim over you, no access to you. You are redeemed. Stand firm in that. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have delivered us from the powers of darkness that in you we have redemption, that we are part of your kingdom, which is far greater and superior, and we stand firm in our redemption, and we announce to the devil and the powers of darkness, they have no place in us, no right over us, no claim over us. We are redeemed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.